Hello again, it's Cartoon 12 of DeviantArt and Comic Fury. Um, if you guys remember my last two videos, I showed you how I drew a headshot of my character, Jamie Jupiter, and then I showed you how I did a full body shot of Jamie. So now today, we're going to be doing a little repeat of last time, only this time, I'm going to be showing you how I draw Jamie in her human disguise. So, I got my circle, I got my guidelines, so let's get started here. Just like before, we're going to have her facing in that direction. So, let's get a line going for her face here. So we can outline where her cheek is and where her chin is going to be. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Bring this up for her chin and her neck. We get a little backwards C shape here for her ear. Now we're going to do the face. So, right where these two lines intersect, we're going to have her nose. And then we're going to do her eyes. So, we're going to get the almond shape going, just like before. And a straight line right here for where her eye ends. Same over here. And we're going to get a little mouth going. Smiling. She's a very optimistic character. And now for her eyes. Get some circles going. Now last time when I drew her in her alien form, I explained how her eyes, when I bring it into color, her eyes glow. Well now in her human form, her eyes aren't glowing at all. They look like regular human eyes. So what we're going to do is, we're going to add these little circles inside, and then another circle off of that, and then we're going to fill that in, and now we have an eye, the pupil, and the little shiny part, sort of like how you see in some anime here, and we're going to do the same on the other side, and that's how I draw eyes. And we're going to get her eyebrows here, just these two little lines floating in the air. And now in her human form, she also wears glasses, so let's turn this a little bit. Sort of right, sort of where these lines are for her eyes, we're going to get a circle here. So it's almost kind of like that line where her eye ends is in the middle of the circle here. And do the same on the other side. And then the line going across where it rests on her nose. And, and let's get her neck going real quick. Just so her she's not a talking floating head. And then we'll just get her, you know, let's get rid of some of these lines here. Doop doop doo. Now normally stuff like this isn't so quiet, I'm usually listening to music and stuff like that, but if I put music on, then you wouldn't be able to hear what I was saying. So, whenever you're drawing, you can have the TV on, you can listen to music, or you can sing if you like. La 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 la. Okay. Come that up a bit. And I'm going to get her shirt going real quick, and the next video when I do her body shot, I'll show you how to do her shirt, but she has a pink shirt underneath and this kind of purple shirt jacket thing over top, so we'll just get her jacket going on either side here. Now let's bring it back up here now for her hair. Now, just like before, sort of right where these guidelines were, there's the line going across here, 
There's a line going up here. So sort of in the middle of where this circle was is where her part in her hair is going to be. Got a little bump going. And now almost just like before, we're going to bring a line going all the way around. Only this time it's not going to go down super straight like before because in her human disguise her hair looks a little different. But I'm using similar line shapes here to kind of suggest that this girl here and the alien girl we did before are the same person. So right where the part is and right where that line from the circle is, we're going to have the part in her hair. It's kind of going to brush her eyelid here. And then we're just going to have the two lines meet here. So then that way this whole area up here is kind of making this sort of like a big leaf shape. And just like a leaf, right in this where these two lines meet, we'll have one line going here to kind of suggest her strands of her hair here. Get rid of some more guidelines. Of course now if we're inking this I could just erase all these guidelines real quick at the end but I'm just doing this in pencil so I'm just erasing the guidelines that go along. So then that way whenever this is brought into color here her hair is red, but then sort of where this line is, this whole bottom section here, she actually kind of has a blue streak going in her hair. And then right where that part was, gonna bring it down. And then on the other side here. Now, we're not gonna touch her ear, we're actually gonna go beyond it. Go all the way down. Now, now where we had that, where we were bringing her hair here, instead of going behind her ear like we did when she was in her alien form, we're going to just follow right where her neck and her chin was, and we're going to have a, a big strand coming here, and then right around this area we're going to make another strand here, and then gonna get rid of some more lines. We're actually gonna erase her ear and part of her neck here because the hair is covering it up. Get rid of that. And then for the back of her hair, just gonna kind of loop up like this and just get some little strands going because in her human disguise she actually has short red hair. And then, sort of like how we did over here, right in the middle section here of her cheek and her chin, we're going to have these two other little strands coming off over here. And then for the last part, since in her alien form she has a big ponytail going, to kind of suggest that this is still the same person, she's also going to have a ponytail in her human form, but since her hair is short, it's going to be a very short one, so right where the part is, we're just going to have these lines, we're going to have these lines coming off like this, and we're going to make these th three or four kind of banana shapes, crescent moon shapes, however you want to call it. We're going to have one going that way, and then one going this way, and then one more going this way. How her hair goes from being short to being long, and then back again when she changes, I have no clue. It's the way her transformation works, just alien magic. And, oh. One other thing, because last time I forgot to do the star barrette in her hair, so this time I'm not going to forget this. Right where her ear was, she has these star earrings that are actually her transformation device, so when she presses them, they that's how she transforms into her alien cell, so we're just going to draw a quick star here. 
for her earring. And then not all the time, but if you want, you can also put another one on the other side here for her other ear. And I think, let me just try and pull this back a bit. Oh, I guess I'm already as far as I can go. All right. And actually, that is it. There is Jamie in her human disguise as Jamie Gibbons. <laughs> Wonder if she looked in a dictionary or some, just pulled out any old name. <laughs> but that is about it. Let me just get rid of some more guy lines. And there it is, a headshot of Jamie in her human disguise. So, gonna get the guidelines going. And didn't didn't really work out how I'm gonna do her body right now, but, but we'll figure it out as we go along here. Let's see, um, I think we might have her lean in a little bit here. Like she's standing on, like on one leg here. So, let's move this down a bit. So get one leg going. Do, 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 do. And since the shoe is facing toward us, it's just going to tip off like this. Because she wears, in her alien form, she has high heel boots, so in her human disguise, she's also wearing high heel boots. <laughs> Apparently, she really likes boots a lot. But boots are cool. Mm -hmm. Get her other leg. We'll get her other shoe face in this way. Get the heels going. And let's move back up here. I'm going to do her arms. So she's going to have an arm on one hip and then you'll see what I do for the other arm. Now sometimes I put circles in here for guidelines for the shoulders, which I think I did that in the last video on how to draw in the alien form, but I didn't do it this time. I think I'm kind of used to it. So, keep it simple. Just one hand on the hip. And I think for the other arm, we're just going to have it going down like this. She just has her arm off to the side. All right, so we got the we got the basic form for her body. So now let's put some clothing on her, so we're not staring at a naked person. So she wears a pink T-shirt with this purple jacket T-shirt thing over top. So for the jacket, it kind of fans off like that. We'll do the other side. And then, right where we did the loop there for her shirt, the lines are just going to come down right like this for the jacket. We'll probably end, we'll end right about at her hip there. And then, let's finish the jacket up here. And we just fan off like that, these two little triangle shapes. And I'm going to get rid of some guidelines here real quick. <laughs> there is no music, so I must supply my own. Okay, and then we got her shirt on the inside. So then we'll have her shirt end right there. Now there's this yellow belt that she wears, so what I do is we'll get a get a form there and then draw the circle over top of that so it's nice and even. Then 
and our jacket fans off like that. And see, so we want to kind of follow the form of her body here. So, so it's going to fan off like that, and just like that. So we actually want to get rid of some of the lines in here since her hands being covered up. And in fact, you know what? We'll put her hand in her pocket here. Oh, don't want a line going through her hand. Okay. And it's short sleeved, so just add some short sleeves. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. Now for her jeans. Jeans are pretty simple enough. Let's just get the, the part in there. And then, then down here, her jeans actually kind of, they have this little, it's just the way the design is. They have this little part that kind of fans off. So kind of follow her leg and just kind of square off the jeans a little bit because they're not form-fitting ones at all. And we'll do the same on the other side. Same thing. Go a little triangle. And straighten this out a little bit. Do the same thing here. Get rid of some more lines. Inside. Do, do, do. And we should decide to take her Earth wardrobe from the 70s or something. But I like bell bottoms. Alright. And her boots are black, so. We will just shade those in very quickly. And do the same over here. And that is it. Simple as that. There's Jamie Gibbons. Or, I should say Jamie Jupiter, but Jamie Gibbons is her human name. But, yep, there's Jamie in her human disguise, fully clothed. So, I think next video I do, I'll show you guys how we draw, or how I draw, Clara Friedman. So, that is it. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And, bye-bye.